Welcome back to an another video. So I made a recently, uh, recently made a video about how to get bot lobbies, and many of you um, said the title was wrong because you can only do this on PlayStation, not PC or Xbox or anything else. And so I tried this myself, and that is entirely correct. I thought PlayStation, Xbox were the same thing, but I guess not. So anyways guys, I'm going to be showing you today how to increase your frame rates and this can be applied on anything besides mobile and I'm not sure about Switch, but anything guys, this could be used. And let's give a second to thank this keyboard. That sounds very nice. It's called the Evo Court. It was a $12 keyboard. I thought it was mechanical, but it was not mechanical, which I am very sad about. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get on to it. Ain't nobody really fucking with me like they always say. And all these people hit me up, but I know that they be fake. Gonna grab the lawn so the first thing that you want to do is, um, you're not going to involve a mod, glitch, or anything like that. You're not going to have to buy anything. This is absolutely free. So, you want to go into your settings, basically. And then, as you see your brightness, all this motion blur, that will not matter. Show FPS, you might want that on so you know if this actually worked for you or not. Because in this new season, the FPS has been going low, lower and lower because of the something so it feels really really laggy on console so i feel y'all's pain but so as you see here this is just um really like y'all's things but this is what we're interested in replays so this can break can make or break your fps so basically if you don't know what fps is i should explain this in the video it's called frames per second it makes your game smoother or more laggy or even if it's not laggy if you have the best wi-fi they can possibly have it can still be look laggy or feel laggy because of the fps so fps is really a very very important thing that's why so many pros have 200 plus fps and you've probably seen a ton of videos on youtube about that but enough of that let me show you how to do it so record a replays so i'm basically going to read what this is replays are exact um turns on replay recording on or off when on replays are recorded and stored after each match recording replays can reduce performance and can take hard drive space record let's okay let's go over that again recording replays can reduce performance so if you turn this on it will reduce your performance if you're not a big you if you're not a youtuber if you're not a content creator i don't know why you need replays you can you can clip something if you uh you did a trick shot or something in game or something like that you can just clip it so you want to turn that off and so you want to turn these all off guys because it doesn't really matter because if you need to clip something you can just clip it really quick you don't need a whole game because even if you're just playing casually and not even expecting to do anything it's still going to be recording your game if you play a one hour creative it's going to record your one hour creative and recording and playing that can take a toll on your hard drive and your cpu and, and your gpu and your console so that could really take a toll on it but that is very the main that's really the main thing on there and then for all these you probably want to turn them all on so you can see your performance your stuff like that and really that is all guys because that one thing can really do that and if you didn't watch my video how to get bots if you're on playstation you just uh turn this on and turn you know, um hide other player names off and hidden matchmaking delay zero and then on an anonymous mode on and also hide your linked account names and turn that on and basically you're gonna have bots if you didn't watch my other video that is a quick tutorial but anyways guys thank you for watching see you next time and i hope this helped y'all peace out